I've been thinking a lot about retirement lately because I've been doing this for enough years. I mean, I love it. But whether it's six months or six years from now, I can just assure you of one thing you will never hear me say again on one of these video reports, and that is this. I really love a game in the Mid-American Conference tonight because I uttered that phrase yesterday here on the video report. And once again, I showed why I should never dip my toes in that damn MAC conference because I had a top-rated 15-dime best bet on Northern Illinois last night, and the Huskies just couldn't keep the damn Broncos of Western Michigan out of the end zone, and they were lucky to win the game as an eight-point favorite because they never came close to covering, and I lost that top-rated 15-dime best bet. Now I'll get it back tonight with a 15-dime best bet on the Warriors and Celtics because I think that's the best bet on this Thursday card, not any of your football games but I'm going to break down the Steelers and Titans and give that to you as the free pick. But I'll let other handicappers carry that game. Chief among them, Tommy Brunson, who has his biggest NFL release since he made his debut at this site back in September. 150-dime NFL release number two in a row. His first 150-dimer was that Monday night game when the Eagles whacked the Washington Redskins. You got that for over half price off, and the same thing goes tonight as he goes for winning day number 9 out of 12. Second ever 150-dime release over half price off by using coupon code 150-dimer, 150-D-I-M-E-R. Double the strength of last night's 75-dimer on Toledo. Double the strength of Monday's 75-dimer when he had TCO uh, by about 100 points over Tennessee Tech and college hoops. Double the strength of Sunday's 75-dimer with the Vikings over Washington. That's the big NFL feature discount play. Uh, in college football, uh, Trace Adams, W Wager, 2000 star AAC Game of the Year on Tulsa and South Florida. Thursday night winner, number nine out of 13. Bigger than last night's top rated 1000 star winner on Western Michigan. Yeah, he was on the right side of the damn game. Bigger than Sunday's raised the bar 1500 star winner on the Rams. And you get that for over half price off by using coupon code DOUBLE. Now, Chris Jordan who has top-rated 1,000-star NBA winner, number 28 out of 36, and sixth in a row this season. He pushed with last night's play on Orlando and Portland. He's on Golden State in Boston, too. His NBA betters, $1 betters, up a little over 18 grand in the NBA the past two seasons. I will tell you, he is on the opposite side of the Celtics Warriors as me. So if you have his plays, if you have my plays, we're on opposite sides. So there you go. Your little heads up. Let's talk about this Titans-Pittsburgh game. Well, since the Steelers had that miserable performance in that Jacksonville lost at home, 30-9, to the Ben Roethlisberger five-interception game, the Ben Roethlisberger after the game performance when he said, maybe I just don't have it anymore, the Ben Roethlisberger performance which spurred me the next day to say, I am never putting my money back on Ben Roethlisberger because a quarterback who suddenly shows that lack of confidence, I have a hard time investing my money on a guy who isn't sure that he has it anymore. Well, since then, the Steelers have won four straight games, but I wouldn't exactly say they've been great performances. You know, they had to rally for that 20-17 to win at Indianapolis. They won 20-15 to at Detroit, a game in which they won more because the Lions were pathetic 0-5 for in the red zone, despite Matthew Stafford throwing for, I think, a career-high 413 yards in that game. Their last home game, 20 to 19 to, 29-14 to over the bumbling Bengals. Say that three times quickly. And then they won 19-13 to at Kansas City because Le'Veon Bell couldn't be stopped. They have turned into a running team, relying on Le'Veon Bell nonstop. So they've won five, four straight games. They're taking on the Tennessee Titans team, and it also has won four straight. But who have they beaten? There was the Monday night game, which they had the rally to beat the Colts, 36-22. to Then the following week before a bye, they were lucky to rebound and win in overtime, 12-9 at Cleveland. Then 23-20 at home against the Ravens. Eh. And then 24-20 last home game against, again, the bumbling Bengals. On the road, this is a team that has already lost 57-14 to at Houston. They lost 16-10 to at Miami. They're 7-15. Their last 22 is a road dog. It's going to be a miserable night in Pittsburgh tonight. The wind chill is going to be like 27 degrees. They're having snow showers and inclement weather during the daytime. It'll be clear. It'll be chilly. It'll be cold. It's going to be Le'Veon Bell running the ball. Tennessee has a decent run defense. So does Pittsburgh. Is Marcus Mariota 100% recovered from that hamstring pull? His mobility is going to be a must tonight against that Pittsburgh pass rush. I'm willing to lay the seven points with Pittsburgh here. Naturally, I'm going to buy down the half point on Pittsburgh at this line. It's seven, seven and a half. It's an interesting play because normally I'm a guy who advocates buying, uh, playing favorites early and underdogs late. I think 
The public will probably jump on the underdog here as we get closer to game time. So I would say if you're going to bet Pittsburgh, I would wait in this case and not bet the favorite early and wait to see if you might get that half point buy down for free and see if this line and the public jumps on Tennessee late and you might get Pittsburgh at minus six and a half without buying the hook. So that's the way I would play with the Steelers. Good luck, everybody. And we'll do this again once more tomorrow. See you.